ورحمة الله وبركاته المشاهدين الكرام طلبة طالبات مساق علم الأدوية فارماكولوجي فور نيرسينج نلتقي بهذا الفيديو اللي حنستعرض فيه multiple choice questions on antibiotics affecting bacterial protein synthesis حنشوف إن شاء الله هذه المجموعة من ال questions اللي هي multiple choice questions ونشوف الانسر بتاعتها المناسبة واللي اسئلة بتمثل تماما او بتهم كتير في النيرسينج براكتس وبيستفيد منها الطلبة بشكل عام للإكزامز او في حالة اللي هو التطبيق العملي او الكلينيكال نيرسينج براكتس The first question استعرض السؤال الاول السؤال الأول بيقول say while teaching the patient about taking oral tetracycline which of the following does the nurse advise the patient to do بهمنا في ال patient education في هذه الحالة إيش إحنا ممكن نعمل advice لل patient the first option ممكن نقول له consume calcium rich products to decrease the duration of antibacterial effect Second option: Use a soft toothbrush and floss teeth gently to remove staining on teeth. Third option: Report any ringing in the ears or dizziness. And the last option: Avoid direct exposure to sunlight and apply sunblock when outdoors. The correct answer is. Option number four, the last option, because this drug tetracycline potentially causes photosensitivity reactions, while options one, two, and three are false or incorrect. Let us see the second question. The nurse determines that the patient understands the use of azithromycin. Zithromax, the trade name. When the patient makes which statement? ببساطة من نشوف فعلا هل النيرس يعني فهم كل ما يخص الأزثرومايسين عندما يتحدث بأي عبارة. The first statement it only needs to be taken once daily because it lasts longer. Or a second. A statement it causes more nausea than more than antibiotics in this classification. The third option is it must be taken on an empty stomach, and the last statement it's ineffective if taken with calcium-rich foods. The correct answer is the first statement option. Because longer duration of action is one of the benefits of azithromycin therapy, while the other options two, three, and four are incorrect. Now the third question: The patient is receiving amikacin, amikin for bacteria infection. Which adverse effects? Does the nurse include in the plan of care to monitor the patient's status? The first option is weight gain. Second option, visual disturbances. Third option is mental depression. And the fourth and last option is urinary frequency. We must remember the adverse effects of amikacin. So we will found that. The best answer is the first option, white gain, because white gain may be early sign associated or associated with renal damage secondary to amikacin toxicity. While options two, three, and four are incorrect. Now the four fourth question. The healthcare provider orders gentamicin, garamicin, for a patient with post-operative wound infection. Which laboratory result should prompt the nurse to consult with the prescriber about possible nephrotoxicity of this drug? The first option is elevated serum creatinine level. 
Second option, decrease blood urea nitrogen level. Third option, increased white blood cells count. And last, elevated serum iron level. The correct answer is number one. Drug-induced renal toxicity would cause an elevated serum creatinine level and should be reported to the healthcare provider, while the options 2, 3, and 4 are incorrect. The fifth question, the patient is receiving gentamicin, garamicin intravenously, IV for a significant infection. Why the patient is receiving this drug? What assessment data will the nurse gather to monitor for adverse effects? Select all that apply. There are more than one answer for this question. Let us see the options. One, serum creatinine. Second option, signs of muscle weakness. Third option, liver function studies. Fourth option, urine output. And the last option, hearing and balance assessment. The best and correct answers are number one, two, four, and five. Because of minor glycosides as gentamicin are renal, auto, and neurotoxic, they, all, they may also cause a neuromuscular blockade. While the other, the option number three is false or incorrect. The last question, please comment the answer. The questions say, the patient has received a prescription for tetracycline, somycin for treatment of acne. The nurse will teach the patient to avoid taking the tetracycline concurrently with. Please try to remember the drug and food interactions. To answer this question, I will be happy to see your answer in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next new video.